All right, I got some some tasty, tasty shoulder stuff here for you. Uh, a few weeks ago or so, actually one of the, the best things happened to me is I, I tweaked my shoulder. I'm not an Olympic lifter. I'm a very, very novice at it. And what happened was is I maxed out my effort and then I missed it. And what I should have done, and even my intellect knew, but my ego said, no, not today. Keep going. <laughs> so I missed it. Instead of backing off, reassessing, realizing I either haven't developed the structures of my body yet or something technically was off, which it was probably a little bit of both. I went for it again and again, just because I knew, I feel like I got it one time before I can do it again. Big mistake, not paying for it. And also during my work, so if I work on people, my elbow pushes down and you can see how that, that pressure can add some stuff into the shoulder as well. So I'm rehabbing my shoulder and it got to a point to where I, I, I had to do something. I had to, I have to change my training now. And these are a few things that I've done that have really helped. Like I would say in the last three days, I'm probably 75% better. I'm getting ready to go train right now. So the big things that I've done that have helped has been the activation stuff. I went to the, the park, had took my rings, did a lot of strain arm ring stuff as well as some pulling. But here's some stuff I've done, and I do it in a parked car because I need the wheel to be mobile. I kicked my seat back. And so let's talk about activation. When something hurts, we do a lot of mobility stuff, stretching, stretching. The shoulder needs stability. It's not a weight-bearing joint. It's kind of the muscles in the, in the ligaments are hanging on, trying not to drop it. So here's a few things I do. I take my steering wheel. And also, this is a form of like muscle activation technique. This is a very novice version. So please tweak it. A, a, and play with it to what your body needs. So what I'm gonna do here is, my pain's been kind of anterior shoulder, okay? So what I do is, when I started playing with this, I was driving like this, and I took a heavy grip, and I started pulling up lightly. I thought, ooh, that feels so good on my shoulder, just off of sensation. And then I played with pushing underneath. And you'll see that I'm at an incline. So if I, if I change that angle, and with the holes in my steering wheel, I can kind of play with pulling, Pushing, supinated pulling, pressing up. But anyways, let's let's isolate to one. So for me, if I come here, heavy grip, and if I pull towards me, and the best thing is then I relax. And I repeat. I'm not going hard as I can. I'm going at a percentage. And relax. And this is very similar to how do they do muscle activation technique. The idea is you want to communicate your, your, it's not about strengthening in the sense of like building muscles, it's strengthening in the sense of increasing communication. So I'm communicating my nerve to my brain and I'm relaxing. I'm going knock, 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 communicate, let's talk, relax. So find a few angles. Let me try to find another one here. Yeah, the, the pulling up one feels really nice, gets that anterior delt. And you can slowly tweak it. I can kind of push my elbow up just a little bit, find that right spot. And again, this takes a lot more assessment than I'm doing. But while I'm by myself, I'm just going to what feels good. I'm going to what feels productive. And that's the one thing you really have. You have that internal sensation. And it's going to be better than doing absolutely nothing. Or maybe even worse, stretching it over and over. Create more laxity within the joint. So notice here. So I can push. I can pull. I can... I can, um, I can bend the elbow, come to a pull. I can rotate. So all these things you can play with. I can come down here to the wrist and just play with uh, what feels good. And again, these take more assessment. Please find somebody that can help you out with it. But I'm telling you, this stuff that I've done, and I'll do about, like, let's say I do this one. I pull, eight to 10 seconds, relax. So it also, you see, I'm not changing my angle. The steering wheel is allowing me if I have to do this in mid-air, when I come back up, I might be at a different angle. So if I keep my hand here when I relax, I can repeat the angle, hence work in the same same areas. If you constantly change, you're not, it's like doing a one rep, you know, one arm snatch, and then moving into like a lap pull, right? You wanna do the same thing for productivity, okay? So I hope that gives you a jump off point. Hope it gives you something and at least, you know, quenches your thirst to realize that maybe I should be doing activational work instead of stretching. Throw it in, see what you think. And uh, I'm gonna go get this workout in on Sunday. Have a great weekend and a uh, great week. See ya.